Hi, for this recording, I'm going to determine if the function below is differentiable at x equal to 0. If so, we are going to calculate the derivative at the point x equal to 0. The function in this case is f of x equal to y minus x for x less than or equal to 0, and it's equal to x squared plus 1 if x greater than 0. To understand the differentiability at a point, we let's recall some facts here or result we can use. One of the things is called one-sided derivatives. There's a derivative on the left called f prime l c, which is the limit of h goes to zero minus f of c plus h minus f of c over h. And h goes to zero minus means that h is less than zero but approaching zero. There's also f prime r c means derivative on the right side of c which is equal to limit of h go to 0 plus of f of c plus h minus f of c over h here. In this case, h go to 0 plus means h is opposite 0, but h is more than 0. Now, the function is differentiable at the point c if or only if the derivative from the left and the derivative from the right exists and both derivatives equal. In this case, we say that the value is the derivative at the point C. After we go through this, we know how to solve the problems we have. So to, to compute whether the function is derivative differentiable at the point 0, we need to find the derivative at the point from the left of C. So in this case, so we'll just copy the result first. A prime of C is equal to the limit of h goes to 0 minus Right, it's equal to 0 minus of f of c plus h minus f of c over h. Now, now our point of interest is 0, so this is equal to limit of h goes to 0 minus f of 0 plus h minus f of 0 over h. So there is limit of h goes to 0 minus f of h minus f of 0 over h. Now, what is f of h and f of 0 now? Let's go back to and see the picture. Now, f of 0 in this case is equal to 1. You can see from the expression, when x equal to 0, fx is 1 over x. So, we can find that f of 0 in this case is 1 minus 0, which is 1. So, we know that f of 0 is 1 minus 0, which is 1. How about f of h now? Since h is less than 0, so f of h, we will use the formula. When h less than 0, you should use this one. All right? 1 minus h. So you get 1 minus h for f of h now. So the limit becomes limit of h goes to 0 minus f of h is 1 minus h. f of 0 is 1 over h. And that is equal to the limit of h goes to 0 minus minus h over h. But number h over h is one, minus 1. So this limit is equal to minus 1. That means we have computed the value. The derivative from the left of 0 is minus 1. Now, we can compute the derivative from the right of 0 now. So, the derivative from the right of 0, point C, for any point C, is limit of h goes to 0 plus f of c plus h minus f of c over h. Now, c is equal to 0 now, in our case. So, this is the limit of h goes to 0 plus f of 0 plus h minus f of 0 over h and the limit of h goes to 0 this is equal to f of h minus f of 0 over h now we have already know earlier calculation f of 0 we know is 1 minus 0 is 1 
Now h is more than zero now since h goes to zero plus. So f of h in this case you have to use the second formula, which is here second formula f of h for h less than greater than zero now is x squared plus one. So f of h will be h squared plus one. So in the second case f of h will be h squared plus one now. So put this inside in one formula expression for derivative from the right. This will be h squared plus one minus one over h. And to compute this, just limit our h goes to zero plus h squared minus one minus one is h squared over h. Now h squared over h is h here. When h goes to zero, we have zero here. That means the derivative from the right at the point zero is zero. So we now conclude that since the derivative from the left of zero is minus one and not and so we have derivative from the left of zero and derivative from the right of zero are not equal. So in this case the function is not differentiable at zero. So if the function is not differentiable at zero, so f prime of zero doesn't exist now. So we conclude that f prime of zero does not exist. So this is the end of the recording.